So we'll save that one for now, and we'll come back to it. And we're just going to uh, now we're going to add another new game object, and we're going to call this one uh, main menu after the uh, the class that we just wrote. And once again, set that to zero. And we'll uh, reset the uh, the rotation as well to make sure that uh, we've maintained that hierarchy all the way down. Um, so now uh, I guess I'll add uh, the play button to this class. And we'll just move it down here. And you'll notice now as I'm moving it down, um, the Y value is actually going further up into the positive region whereas uh, if we were still working uh, in in the default space um, as you're dragging it down it would be diving into the negatives um, it's important to remember when you put uh, when you put all these like nested hierarchies and you've inverted uh, you've inverted one of the uh, the transforms um, you get these weird rotations of like high numbers like 540 and stuff it's just something that you need to make sure uh, that you keep track of and you, know, you want to set that back to something that's uh, controllable. Um, if you, Obviously if you set this to zero you're not going to be able to see it because it's now facing down the other vector and we don't want that so we'll keep it on 180 and it's just something um, if you want to maintain as I said before it is optional um, if you want to maintain uh, sort of uh, the top left uh, origin point um, you kinda have to keep track of this um, if not, uh, that's fine. <laughs> just uh, just work with the origin um, down here, and then you'll have negatives and as, as you go down. Uh, but like I said, it's a uh, it doesn't really matter. It's all just a, a point of preference. Um, I didn't want to lock anybody into any corners, uh, but uh, this is the way that I like to work. So I'm just going to do it this way. Um, I also like uh, since I'm working in in uh, in pixels right now I like to make sure that I round all of these things off to be uh, nice even numbers and we'll just set that to be zero we don't need it to be anything extravagant um, so now we have this uh, this nested uh, play button inside of a s uh, screen uh, let's just uh, drag that uh, screen class there and as you drag that there you're gonna see that uh, it attaches more than just one component and that's because um, the screen 2D requires a screen 2D transition and screen 2D transition requires the component animation so by adding one you're going to get everything that you need so that it's gonna work right out of the box so now that we have this uh, this hierarchy set up uh, we can start attaching things so uh, let's um, Go here and we'll set our manager and uh, we'll set the reference um, to uh, this transition. And uh, it's important to note that um, every screen 2D has an ID that's, uh, that's assigned to it. Uh, and you manually assign these 2Ds yourself uh, by the inspector. And this is because uh, the manager is going to need these. Um, finish the scan there. Um, the manager is going to need. The, these uh, these IDs to sort between uh, and tell the difference between each screen um, when you're when you're dealing with them and that's just a way that uh, you could use strings uh, but I don't like doing string comparisons at runtime because it's extremely slow and the point of, of this is is to speed up things so uh, integer comparisons are really fast so that's why I choose uh, int IDs and uh, the same thing actually works for uh, any uh, interactive element as well also has a uh, an ID attached to it so the screens can sort that way if, if you need to uh, to deal with buttons uh, so uh, we have those references set there and now let's uh, just uh, drag this right here and that sets it there and we'll also set it as the default as well so uh, right here uh, let's just drag over the uh, the game view here and you'll see um, We've got a bit of uh, this purple block here, and that's because um, the uh, the main camera is actually uh, culling everything. So uh, we uh, want to just remove that so that we don't uh, 
render the UI thing. So that's something that you want to remember is to uh, make sure that your main camera isn't rendering any of the UI components. Otherwise, you'll have big buttons in the sky, and that's uh, that's probably not what you want. So uh, if we uh, if we run this right now, um, we should at least be able to get um, the uh, the play button to us uh, to show its its uh, its states and in, uh, interact with the mouse. So if I hit play here, uh, you see no errors or anything. So as I mouse over, you get the mouse uh, over state, and as I press down, and that's uh, that's pretty much right out of the box with just a little bit of a just a little bit of setup uh, as you can see um, we just uh, created a nice hierarchy here and uh, add the button to that and uh, that's pretty much the environment um, as it stands uh, the rest is up to you uh, coding within the framework um, if you choose to do so I mean you could completely uh, write your own um, menus and stuff, uh, just using the quads and, and using you know custom components if you choose to do so. Um, but if you do want to work inside the framework, you, it's uh, just a little bit of setup to to get everything in here. Um, so let's get a little bit of interactivity um, going because uh, we obviously have reference going down now from the manager to the main menu. But let's uh, get these, this button now uh, interacting with the with the screen. So let's uh, open up uh, main menu here. And we're going to set um, a variable here. We're going to say a public uh, button 2D because that's the class of the button that uh, that we want to talk to. Uh, and we're just going to call it play button because that's what the game object is named. And uh, we're going to hit uh, save right here. And we're going to set the reference. 